Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the world's most mysterious discoveries, enigmas that have baffled scientists and historians for years. From ancient manuscripts whispering in undeciphered tongues to celestial maps that predate our understanding of the cosmos, these artifacts offer tantalizing glimpses into forgotten chapters of our past. We'll examine the evidence, ponder the theories, and confront the limits of our current understanding. So, fasten your intellectual seatbelts as we embark on this thrilling expedition into the heart of mystery. Our journey into the annals of history takes us to the battlefields of medieval Europe, where a legend was forged in steel, the Ulfbert Swords. These Viking-era blades, renowned for their exceptional strength, sharpness, and flexibility, were prized possessions, wielded by the most elite warriors. Analysis revealed that they were forged using a process known as crucible steel, a technology that was not thought to have been available in Europe until centuries later. The Ulfbert swords were made with a type of steel containing a higher carbon content than typical Viking-era swords, achieved through a complex smelting process. How did Viking blacksmiths acquire this advanced knowledge? The Ulfbert swords remain a testament to the ingenuity of the past, their blades whispering tales of forgotten knowledge and technological prowess. Our final destination takes us to the Anatolian plains of southeastern Turkey, where a discovery of unprecedented scale and significance has challenged our understanding of human history, Gobekli Tepe. Dating back to 10,000 BCE, this sprawling complex of megalithic structures adorned with intricate carvings of animals and abstract symbols predates Stonehenge and the Great Pyramid of Giza by thousands of years. Gobekli Tepe's existence forces us to reconsider our timeline of civilization, requiring a level of social organization and technological sophistication previously thought impossible for hunter-gatherer societies. The discovery of Gobekli Tepe has opened a new chapter in our understanding of the human story, pushing back the origins of monumental architecture and complex societies by millennia. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing content. What do you think is the most mysterious discovery? Let us know in the comments below. Our world is full of mysteries that continue to challenge our understanding of the past and the possibilities of the present. So keep your curiosity alive, your minds open, and never stop searching for answers. The world is a vast and mysterious place and there are countless secrets waiting to be uncovered. Our journey takes us to the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Turin, Italy, where one of the most venerated and controversial relics in human history resides, the Shroud of Turin. This linen cloth, bearing the faint image of a man who appears to have suffered wounds consistent with crucifixion, has been the subject of intense scrutiny and debate for centuries. Believers revere it as the burial cloth of Jesus Christ, the image a miraculous imprint left behind during his resurrection, while skeptics point to radiocarbon dating that places the shroud's origins in the medieval period. The image itself, visible only in its negative, defies explanation with no known artistic technique able to replicate its detail or three-dimensional qualities. The Shroud of Turin, regardless of its authenticity, stands as a powerful symbol of faith, mystery, and the enduring human search for meaning. Our next destination takes us high above the arid plains of southern Peru, where a series of enigmatic geoglyphs known as the Nazca Lines stretch across the desert floor. These massive figures, some spanning hundreds of meters, depict a menagerie of creatures and geometric shapes that seem to vanish into the horizon, created by the ancient Nazca people between 500 BCE and 500 CE. Their purpose remains shrouded in mystery. Were they astronomical markers, religious symbols, or messages left for the gods? The Nazca lines remain an enigma, a reminder that the past can leave behind whispers of its secrets, etched into the very fabric of the Earth itself. Our expedition now takes us to the National Museum of Iraq in Baghdad, where a collection of clay pots, copper tubes, and iron rods dating back over 2,000 years hint at a forgotten chapter in the history of electricity. 
Dubbed the Baghdad Battery, these unassuming artifacts have sparked a debate that continues to this day. Were these ancient people harnessing the power of electricity millennia before its supposed discovery? Some researchers believe that by filling the clay pots with an acidic solution, like vinegar or citrus juice, they could have generated a small electrical current. While we may never know the true purpose of the Baghdad Battery, its existence challenges us to reconsider our assumptions about the technological prowess of ancient civilizations. Our search for the inexplicable now leads us to the lush rainforest of Costa Rica, where a collection of over 300 stone spheres, some perfectly spherical and weighing up to 16 tons, stand as silent sentinels to a vanished civilization. Crafted by the Diki people between 300 and 1500 CE, their purpose remains a mystery. Were they astronomical markers, territorial boundaries, or representations of celestial bodies? The precision with which these spheres were carved, using only stone tools, is astounding, speaking to a deep understanding of geometry and craftsmanship. The stone spheres of Costa Rica stand as enigmatic reminders of the ingenuity and artistry of past civilizations, their true meaning lost to the mists of time. Our pursuit of the unknown now takes us to the shores of Nova Scotia, Canada, where a small island holds a secret that has captivated treasure hunters and historians for centuries, the Oak Island Money Pit. The story begins in 1795 when a teenager named Daniel McGuinness stumbled upon a circular depression in the ground, marked by a tackle block hanging from a tree. Intrigued, he and his friends began to dig, uncovering a series of wooden platforms and layers of flagstones. Over the centuries, numerous expeditions have attempted to unearth the pit's secrets, encountering flooded tunnels and booby traps. Theories abound about the pit's contents, pirate treasure, Templar artifacts, even manuscripts from Shakespeare's lost plays. Despite the millions of dollars poured into the search, the Oak Island money pit has yielded more questions than answers, continuing to captivate the imagination.